welcome back to my channel. I am Black Sheet Me, and today we're doing another craft update video. Uh, I have been gone for a couple weeks now, and there was quite a bit of things that I was able to touch, um, but it's been a, a really busy couple weeks, so not as much as you would think, um, but I'll explain as we start moving along. Um, well, I guess I might as well just get into it, right? Um, so the last couple weeks uh, since the first update video that I posted, I have gone to TwitchCon. I went to TwitchCon for the weekend and I got to do um, a lot of the things that I really wanted to this year. This was my first year going for three days instead of just the one or at all. And my goal this year was to go to all the panels and listen into everything that they talk about in those. And I did sit through quite a few. Some, some of the panels were definitely not very, not a lot of information, I guess you could say. It was more of like experiences and things like that. Um, but there were some that were very informational or informative, I should say. Um, so I got to do a lot of the panels. I met a lot of new friends this year that I haven't yet met before. So that was really amazing to, to meet all these people that I've been spending so much time with online. Got to see some family while I was there as well, as I have a lot of family over there in California, uh, since that's where I'm from, uh, originally. But, um, yeah, it was a great, it was a really great weekend. I had so much fun. I had a blast. And then after I got home, um, my husband has actually been deployed to Kuwait for a year and he got back while I was at TwitchCon. So when I got home, it was a nice surprise to see him. I mean, I knew he was going to be home, but it was, it was good to see him and it was good to spend time again, uh, together and be together as a family. We've just been settling back into our old routines and our old habits and things like that. Uh, he's been home for about two weeks now, um, so we've been running around and doing a lot of things, which I'm really surprised because I figured that he would want to just come home and be home and relax and hang out and chill. No, I was absolutely wrong. He has been wanting to be out and about. He's been wanting to run around. He's into fishing now, so he's been taking me fishing. I did go fishing twice now. Um, is it my favorite thing in the world? No, not necessarily, but, um, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. I don't like the early mornings, but it makes sense to go when it's the least hot time of day, uh, especially here in Texas. It's, it's extremely hot all the time. So the best time to go would be when it's the coolest, but yeah, so we did a lot of, um, shopping and hanging out and eating and all of this. So it's been a, it's been a very busy couple weeks uh, in general. So there's been a lot happening. I did get a little bit of crafting in here and there. So I'm going to share my progress on all the things that I was able to touch as well as some other things I've been able to, um, get in some time for as well. Uh, but let's let's get into the crafting and I guess we'll start off again with some knitting I did put in some time on my knititude uh, Wrap me up scarf. Is that what it's called? I have it here wrap me up sweater scarf um, This is by knititude. I know I said that <laughs> But we're just gonna repeat ourselves um, But yeah, this is the knititude wrap me up sweater scarf and I did get a little bit of progress in on this. I did mark it so that I was able to show you where I was at. I'm trying to remember these things again. And it's kind of fun though too because um, it gives me a little more excitement now where I'm like, oh, where did I start? Where, how much progress can I show next time I do this video? Um, but I do have the marker here. I do have the marker here and this is where I'm at right now. So I did put in about three more sections. I think I still have, I wanna say at least a little more than 15 inches left. Uh, I should probably measure it real quick. Let me see if I can measure. I think I'm supposed to have around 80 something, 86 inches. 
Let's see where I'm at, and then I'll show you the whole thing. Um, but let me do a quick little measure and see where we're at on this. This thing is just never ending. <laughs> And it's, it's, it, when you put it on though, it's still so small. There's so much more progress I need on this. I am at 69 inches. Well, <laughs> well, that would be accurate. <laughs> I'm at 69 inches. I believe I need 86. So I guess a little more than 15. I need about 20 more inches uh, to go on this but this is what it's looking like so far so I have the sleeve and then this is all just the scarf part that's gonna wrap around I really really um, I think it looks gorgeous these colors too freaking love the colors but yeah so that's where I'm at I did put in three more Three more rows, which is so weird because I feel like the last time that I showed this, I could have sworn I already had like 15 inches. Maybe I just didn't calculate correctly. Um, but yeah, this will wrap around like a nice little scarf like so, and then the sleeves go, go on your arms, obviously. <laughs> I am so just... I feel like I'm rushing right now, so I'm going to try and calm it down, but I feel like I'm rushing. Um, so I'm going to try and calm down so I don't jumble over myself because I feel like that's what I'm doing. But yeah, that's the sweater scarf that I've been working and the progress that I have on this. So I'm going to keep hacking away and seeing if I can get this done sometime soon. So I'm going to move my marker to this row. So we know where we're at next time, where we started, and then how far I get if I work on this. I also need to weave in all these ends. I'm trying to work on them as I go, but I've, I've kind of done a bit without weaving some in. So I should def definitely do that soon before it adds up and then I'm not going to want to weave anything in. Um, so that is my Knititude uh, sweater scarf. Sorry. So that is my Knititude sweater scarf. It's going. It's getting there. We will get this done at some point in time. Oh, I didn't even say. I ended up switching from using two um, separate ends of circular needles. I was having this on a cable with the needle and having two and then working, flipping back and forth. And then I realized that this is wide enough to where I can just put it on on the circular. So I ended up switching to the circular. I don't know if I'm in love with this technique, um, but I'll leave it for now. If I if I realize it's too weird and I keep losing track of stuff of where I am and stuff, then I'll switch it back. But for now, I have I have it on the circulars at the moment, so I switched it over. Also, these were gifted from a friend, my lovely friend Heat Herbizzo, over on Twitch. They're little sheeps. I know the sun is like blaring right now, so they're like drowning out. But they're little sheep uh, needle stoppers. I adore them. I use them all the time. And I'm almost done with this taupe skein, and then we can start a new one. So that is the Knititude sweater. So actually today, I did uh, stream this morning, and today was a new start for some socks. So these are the top-down Halloween uh, knitted ghost socks, and <laughs> I had a little difficult with these, a little difficulty with these, because I ended up well, first I had to learn a new cast-on technique. I might as well show you. I had to learn a new cast-on technique. Um, it's the German one, the German cast-on. Um, so it took a minute to figure that out. And then once I got that going, I realized I was stitching a little too tightly. So when I went to do the next round, it was a little difficult to do. 
And then by the time I finished that round, I had an extra stitch. And I don't know where the extra stitch came from. So I ended up frogging the whole thing and restarting. So this is where I got today on stream uh, when I restarted. Uh, I believe I need to cast on a couple more stitches here and then I can start working on it. Uh, but these are going to be some simple Halloween socks. The yarn that I'm using is the um, Wool Light. This is from Knit, uh, Knit Fix. And I also have this in black. So these will be um, the socks. So I'll do them oh, I'll do them in green and then uh, the ghosts and the details will be in black. Uh, this is just yarn that I've had. I actually ordered this yarn, a ton of it, because I was doing my first sweater and I ordered this yarn not realizing it's not the right um, size. This is uh, super fine or size one and I needed DK weight, I believe. So this obviously didn't work. So now I have a bunch of these skeins of super fine yarn and I was like well I might as well use these plus perfect Halloween colors right so I'm gonna make these socks I'm really excited I'm a big sock lover I'm a big big sock lover and of course I forgot the other socks that I made before <laughs> I meant to grab them and I totally forgot them there we go now I'm back on center sorry I realized I was all hanging off the side there the socks that I made before were from last year was my first pair of knitted socks and those uh, I did finish and I have worn but I was perhaps drinking a bit <laughs> when I started them. So they, they started off, the first sock I started was really wonky so I had to make the second sock match uh, with the stitches that I had done. So they weren't the best pair of socks but they still fit so that was all that mattered. The other pair of socks I did make were crocheted. I did make some crocheted socks and those were really nice, but those were a size too small. So they are very snug when I put them on, but I'm very excited to start this new pair. I'm hoping to do a good job on these so they actually fit me right. I am doing the smaller size for these socks. And the other thing I did get uh, was these uh, nine inch, uh, circular needles oh my goodness I can't even think the nine inch circular needles are new I did buy these recently because I knew I was making these socks but these are the Chowgu Chowgu I think it's Chowgu I have a friend who loves these and she says it all the time and I keep forgetting Chowgu right um, premium stainless steel but yes these are the nine inch or 1.5 2.5 millimeter uh, so I did get these I saw this from crafty gaming Jamie again I've been binging her videos lately so I've been wanting to pick one up for myself and give it a try because DPN DPNs for socks are okay I don't mind it but they're not my favorite I would love to work in the circular I would love to work in the round if it was possible. So once I saw that these um, were a thing, I figured I'd give it a shot. So I'm trying out the round. And if I don't like it, then I'll just switch back to um, DPNs in the end. But yeah, so this is going to be a new start. I'm going to keep trying to get this started and going. I would, As much as I would love to say I'd love to have these done by Halloween, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, depends how difficult the first sock is. I tried to pick a pattern that wasn't so busy. Uh, so that way I can get through it pretty quickly. Because there's some other Halloween socks that I really, really liked a lot. And I would love to make them at some point. But they do have a lot more color work. And I didn't have also the other color yarns. I was just kind of using whatever was in my stash and this is what I have so we're gonna stick with this for now and in the future I'll pick up some yarn uh, next time I see a good sale or something and hopefully I can do some more uh, I guess fancier fancier sock patterns um, but yeah so that's all my knitting right now it'll, it'll be nice to have two knitting projects on the go 
Uh, since I only have the one, sometimes I want to knit, but I'm not in the mood to knit on my Knititude sweater. So this will be nice to pick up uh, in the meantime. The next thing that I actually picked up this month, I did make a schedule of things that I'm going to be working on for the month. And this is one that I've started also last year and I haven't finished it. I kind of put it away because I wasn't in the mood to work on it, but I'm excited to bring it back out. And th this year, I really want to get this done more specifically this month. I really want to get this finished so I'm telling you I'm I might be putting a little too much on my plate right now but I mean more goals the better right the more goals you have the more you have to work with I guess you could say and maybe the more motivated I am to work on certain things a little quicker <laughs> um, but this what I'm talking about is this this is my pixel macrame so basically it's macrame, but every little knot is a pixel. So the pixel chart that I found of this little ghost, I found it on this website called Bracelet Book. I'll have it linked below. Uh, it's a bunch of free pixel patterns, usually for usually for friendship bracelets. And so I saw this and I was like, how easy to just make the knots. Um, and create the pixels with the knots. I did find it on a YouTube video back when I had started macrame, which is another new craft that I have begun to do uh, in the last few years. And I have finished a couple things with macrame. Right here you can see my bat. This was part of a kit. So I did this little macrame bat that's hanging on my wall there. Um, but when I saw the pixel macrame, I thought this would be really fun. And it looks really, really cool. I'm really loving how it's turning out. Um, here's the back. But yeah, it's it's like a mix of like cross stitch and diamond painting, but making knots with macrame thread. So my goal is to finish this and get it done this month. I am more than halfway, but I still have a good amount to go. So hopefully... Hopefully it won't be too much longer to get this done. If anything, I'll link the video on how to do this because there isn't like a pattern for this. It's just double knots basically. Lark knots, I believe they're called in macrame, is just making a bunch of lark knots on each um, strand. So I'll post a couple videos that I followed uh, to learn how to do this as well. And then... Um, I'll of course post the the pattern site so you can go through the patterns because there's a ton of free patterns on there of all kinds of things so this hopefully will be a finish by the end of the month and hopefully you'll see this all done I guess I won't be able to have time to hang it on my wall because <laughs> Halloween might be over by then but we'll see so this is this is finally coming out of the of the whip the abandoned whip pile that's been chilling for a little bit. Um, but I'm having so much fun with this and it's always cool to look at whenever I have it out, especially when I'm working on it on stream, just seeing it in the camera, it looks so good. So super excited. Speaking of which with my wall, I did finally switch out this painting for this one. This is Halloween Witch uh, from Diamond Art Club. I forget the artist right now but this is a discontinued painting. Uh, it came out for Halloween a couple years ago and I had finished it and it's been hiding in my closet. So I figured it's about time to change out some of this stuff. So we finally got this one switched out. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to switch out these two, but I need a bigger frame for the one that I wanna pick, for the one that I wanna put here. I wanna put Halloween Kitty here. Uh, not from Diamond Art Club. The one I have is from Distracted by Diamonds, which don't I don't know if they sell that one anymore. And then this one, I would love to put another one, but the ones I want to put that fit in this frame go uh, landscape and not portrait. So I don't know. We might have to move a lot more stuff than I realized around, but we'll see when we get to that point. For the pixel macrame, I did buy a smaller macrame cord and I got all these on Amazon. So in case you're wondering what I used and what size, I believe these are two millimeter 
Um, these are two millimeter and I think the base that I used was, uh, I do have it here somewhere. I don't remember where I put this, the spool. If I, if I might have to look it up to see what size the base cord is, I want to say it's maybe five millimeters. I'm not sure, but the, the colors I'm using are, um, two millimeter cord. So that's what I'm using to make the, these stitches. But I'll have these also linked down below for you as well. These are just from Amazon. Pretty affordable for the most part. I didn't find it super overwhelmingly expensive. So if you're interested in that craft, it's easy just to pick up a few colors and go through a, a simple chart, a simple color chart. As far as diamond painting goes, I only worked on Sweet Tooth. Uh, the last few weeks I am super behind again on Astronomer which I need to finish by the end of the year um, I'll get to it when I get some time if I just sit down and I, I work on it I can get a lot done um, I'm pretty sure I'll have to do an, a whole nother row to catch up on that one but I did get a lot done on Sweet Tooth uh, I was trying my best to get as much as I possibly could in the time that I had available to me and I, I like to say I think I got a lot. So let me show you. Um, I guess there's, if I can find a picture, I need to start taking pictures. If I can find a picture where it was before and post it over here, and then uh, you can see the difference of where I am now. But here she is at the moment. So I did finish this whole whole row that I had here this whole row is done and I also finished half of this so I want to say I did um, three big sections because these I've kind of just been working like like this in this like section here and there and there um, but it's a bit it's a bit there's there's a lot of progress on this so you can see all of her her whole um, chest area now and then we're getting into her face so there's not much left at the top here. There's maybe like a third, a little more than a third maybe, just a little over the, a third, but she's getting done slowly. She's, she's almost there. So I'm trying my best to buckle down on this one and get her out of the way so we can do more paintings. But yeah, I did. I think she would look really great right here, actually, if I can get her done. If I can get her done. Uh, but I did do those three sections um, the first week. The first week that uh, I was home right before TwitchCon, right before I left for TwitchCon. I did finish a lot of this. Pretty sure that's when I worked on it. So yeah, so I did, I did get up quite a bit on this. But this is Sweet Tooth by Micah, Janil Micah Jelena. I do that every time. Micah Jelena. It is a round and it's 32 colors plus one glow in the dark. It's 22 by 30 inches and has 53,460 diamonds. Um, so not the biggest painting ever. She's an older kit. And she does have those nice glow-in-the-dark drills. That's the only fancy drill in this kit. Um, but they do glow. They definitely glow. So hopefully, pretty soon, you'll see it behind me on the wall. Um, most likely, I'll probably show you all before I do that. I'll show her done and finished before I post her up. But I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best to buckle down on her and get her done. So maybe, I don't know, I'd like to say another goal to finish this month. We'll see. I'm, I'm, I'm being, I'm being ambitious. I'm being very ambitious. In other diamond painting news, I have bought some new paintings. Um, most of the new paintings I buy now are Margaret Morales, because Margaret Morales is one of my favorite uh, artists so anything that comes out from Diamond Art Club from her now because she is signed exclusively with Diamond Art Club after uh, DOA Moonshop has closed down 
uh, I pretty much buy every single painting. At this point, I'm missing one more. I'm missing, I forget the name. It starts with an A, I think. But it's the Geisha. Oh, there's a ice cream man today. <laughs> I hope it's not too distracting. Um, but it's like the geisha, and she has the hydrangea, hydrangea flowers. Or it's, I'm pretty sure they're hydrangeas. I'm missing that one. That's the last one that I need that I missed out on um, because finances. A little pricey so I can't always buy them whenever they come out but I've been trying to get them as as often as I could um, but they did release some new Halloween kits uh, a few weeks ago and I don't have a lot of Halloween sort of <laughs> the ice cream truck of course it would go by I'm surprised it's not stopping um, I I didn't have any Halloween kits, and so I wanted to add some like actual spooky Halloween ones to my stash, basically, because those are my favorite kinds of art and the things that I'm usually working on anyways. So these are the ones that I did pick up. I did end up getting uh, Winifred. Winifred is the, I'll put a bear picture somewhere here. But Winifred is the one with the witch, and she's got like this fall background with pumpkins and jack-o'-lanterns, and she's got flowers everywhere. Um, I love the new packaging as well. This is this is new the way the box looks compared to how it used to. Uh, the old look I did bring one so you could see is this right here, where it just shows the diamond art, and then you have like round or square the image there and that's about mostly it instructions on the back uh, this is actually another Margaret Morales I know there's a glare so I'll again put a bigger picture so you can see what it looks like um, but I love how they're adding like a bigger image of the image of the picture onto the box so you know what it is without having to go through every single one they are putting uh, the size, the artist, the name. You still have your square or round. Um, you do have the instructions still on the back. And then on the side, which is what I wanted, was them to say what um, colors are in here. Am I blurred? I don't know. Uh, that says what colors are in here and the fancy diamonds as well and how many diamonds are on this kit as well. So I think that was such a great improvement on these boxes in general. Um, and this should have the new kits as well with the newer pens, the trays. I love the trays. I have one here with the newer trays. These are stackable, which is really cool. And I love that they did that where you can stack your trays now. It makes it a little worthwhile getting those trays because usually, you know, you you want to get rid of them. I have a whole stack of them that I don't need uh, and won't use. Uh, the other one I got was Cursed, and I thought this was absolutely adorable. Um, but this is by Mrs. Butter D, and this one is a round. I was very happy to see a round kit for once because there have been so many square kits. I personally don't mind square rounds, but I do like to switch it up. So I like to do a square and then maybe a round and then go back to square. But the thing is, is that um, a lot of the paintings I like are mostly squares. So I have usually more squares going on than rounds. So it was nice to see a round kit as well. Um, but I ended up picking these both up uh, the other day with the Halloween sale and then the newest one that just came in again I've been restocking they've been restocking a lot of the Margaret Morales's that I missed in the beginning so I finally snagged this one I'm so excited because this one I love I love this mine um, other than the Hades and Persephone both of these were like I absolutely need I absolutely need both of these um, but this one is a Satura, 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 Satura. Um, but she's like the witchy, the witchy vibe with the stars. Oh, 
She's gorgeous. I've seen this one completed by a few people. It is so pretty. It is so pretty. So I'm so happy that I was able to get this one when it came back in stock. And like I said, I'm just missing one. I'm just missing one now. And that one, I'm just waiting for it to be back in stock. And I will also pick that one up as well. But I'll try and put an image here somewhere or over my face or whatever of um, all the different Margarets. So you can see you can see all the ones that I have in my stash at this point and then I'll show which one I'm missing or, or I think I've shown how which one I was missing so that was my diamond painting updates um, and then I guess we can move into the last thing that I've been working on recently is my cross stitch and so last we last we left last we left last we talked about I was going to spin a wheel and do 500 stitches on whatever one got picked on the wheel and I did it I did do what I said I was gonna do <laughs> actually I got these done the first week that I um, that I finished that video I haven't worked on them since though uh, sadly one of them I did a little bit but I did get quite a bit of stitches when I did work on it. So I'll show you what I have. So first of all, the first one I have to show is New Normal. It's a long dog sampler. And this was the winner of the wheel spin uh, to do 500 stitches on. And I ended up doing quite a bit. Uh, let me just straighten this out real quick so we can see it because it's been in a Q-snap. So it's a little wrinkled up. I don't know. Does it bother people that, that people show their cross stitches a little wrinkled? I've never minded, but always curious. Um, but this is where I got to. So um, I mean, is this the back? No. <laughs> I thought I was showing the back. Um, so this is where I'm at right now. I was working in this corner over here. I'll try my best. Hopefully I put up a picture of what it looked like before. Otherwise we're doing it now. <laughs> I'll have to, I gotta remember to take the pictures. Um, but I was working over here in this corner. I was working over here in this corner and there was um, most of this, of this whole area was done. I just had to finish a little bit of this pyramid and a little bit of this bottom circle. Uh, and that's what I did. I ended up finishing those both. Let me go over here. I ended up finishing both of those. And I did the squirrel. I did the hearts, the little butterflies that are here. And I did the two birds. So I did do quite a bit of stitching on this. And got this whole corner done. Minus the back stitching. The back stitching will be later on. Probably at the end when it's all stitched up. Um... But I did, I did get a lot of progress in on this. I was just going and I was like, okay, let's do as much as we can. And then now that I'm moving into the other section, that's kind of where I got stopped because I wasn't sure where I wanted to move and what colors I wanted to go into because I believe there's a lot going on right here as far as um, little details and everything. So... I think I'm going to have to count down. I might start over here next time on the border and then count from there. I think that might be my best bet. But I did do, let's see, 741 stitches and 48 on another day, which I should have calculated these together. This was 789 stitches total that I got done on this which is way over than what I had said because I said I wanted to do just 500 stitches so I gave myself a, a decent goal that I didn't feel overwhelmed with. So 789 stitches, let's freaking go. We did it. <laughs> let's freaking go. So that is new normal. Um, I'm probably going to put it away because we're going to do another wheel spin in a minute and see what's uh, the next... The next project to work on um 
but I did work on another project. There is another project that I did work on, and I'll tell you my reasoning why. Also, I did take this to TwitchCon, but I, because I use this again as my travel project, so I did take it with me, but sadly, I just did not have time to work on it, so it did not get a single stitch on it while I was on vacation. So the other project that I have been uh, putting work into was Pile of Yoshis. And I haven't worked on this one in a while either. Um, but Pile of Yoshis was started quite a while ago. I'm going to have to look up my old notes and see when the start dates were and everything. Um, I don't know if I also have like a past image of what it was because I didn't take a picture before I started stitching. Um, I'm going to remember to do that this time. I'll take, st I'll take pictures of everything. But the reason I pulled out Pile of Yoshis is because I have a friend on Twitch who is a male cross stitcher and he does a very large cross stitch every year that takes him the whole year to stitch up and then he gives it away. That is Duo MTL. I'll make sure his stuff is posted down below as well, but he gives it away. Um, for a while there that I've known him, because I met him shortly after I started um, over on Twitch. So I've known him for just as long as I've been gone from YouTube. And um, he is so crazy that he gives it away that for a while there, he wouldn't even have anything for himself. Like he wouldn't have crossages for himself and like things like that. Um, now he's doing a lot better with that. But he, uh, he does give away these big cross stitches at the end of the year with a giveaway raffle. And unfortunately, I haven't won anything, um, but there is one he's working on this year that is in collaboration with Pick Stitch, who most of you might know in the Floss Tube world who did the Gamer Cell, um, which is that really big one with the, where each letter was the different uh, game console characters from the games, um, who is also a great friend of mine now, which is so crazy to say. It is so crazy to say that. Um, cause I knew who he was before I knew who he was on Twitch. I knew his work and, um, he's in collaboration with Duo to make the Sal for this year, which is the Final Fantasy Summons Sal. And it's a bunch of, um, Final Fantasy characters. I've never played Final Fantasy, so I don't know who a lot of them are other than the main ones, like the Moogle and stuff like that, that you see pretty regularly. Um... Anyways, so that project this year for him is 16,000 stitches. My pile of Yoshis is just about 16,000 stitches. And I was like, if you're going to finish this, because he just started it a couple months ago, um, and he's planning to get it done by the end of the year, I was like, I'm just about where you're at on that piece. So what if I do as many stitches as you do in the week or whatever because he usually works on it once a week sometimes twice a week and what if I kept up with him so that I can get this one done by the end of the year so crazy idea putting more on my plate but here we are I only have so many stitches left it's very doable it's very doable if I if I do a little bit each week or every couple weeks but this is what it looks like right now I'll show you where I'm at. So here we are. It's a little, little, let me see if I can fold this so it's not all over the place. There we go. Maybe this is okay. Got all my needles everywhere. I am so out of practice with this. <laughs> but here we go. Here we go. Okay, so last time, if anyone's ever seen this, I probably only had a couple Yoshis on there. Um, before I started the newer progress, this past few weeks ago, uh, it was just these three Yoshis that were done. The new progress is the whole outline of this Yoshi as well as a little bit on the face. And the black outline over here is also new. So that is the amount of progress that I've done um, in one week. It was the first week after my last video. So I have a little bit to catch up on to be up to date with what his stitches are, what duo stitches are on his uh, summons piece. 
Um, but I'm pretty sure I can catch up to that pretty quickly. He usually does about four to 500 stitches a stream uh, once a week. So it's not too terrible. That's kind of what I was already doing um, with the wheel spins. So if I give myself a thousand stitches a week, I feel like it's manageable. Uh, but yeah, so right now, uh, this is a 16,596 stitch uh, size, and then it, I'm at 6,180 stitches. So this puts me at 37.24% complete. Like I said, if I just do four to 500 stitches a week on this, it's going to get done by the end of the year. If anything, even before Christmas. Um, some days, yeah, I might work on it more and some days a little less, but I think if I'm consistent, I can finally get this done and get this off my wish li my whip list. Um, and if you don't know what a whip is, it's a work in progress. So all my works in progress on a list, basically. So this one will be a constant. You will see this one quite a bit until it's done. Um, hopefully sooner than later, but you will start seeing this regularly because we want to finish this. We want to finish this. So this week I worked on my two smallest um, cross stitches for the most part, um, which is interesting. But we're going to do another wheel spin in a minute and see what the next project is that I need to work on for uh, next week or the next two weeks, whenever I come back with an update. So the last cross stitch uh, that I'm going to be working on... <laughs> which I say those were my smallest. This is actually my smallest, but I never count it because I never, I don't know, it's so small, I don't know if it's worth counting sometimes. But this is um, a cross stitch I started quite a few years ago and I've barely done anything. This is Witch Better Have My Candy by Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. And it's been a whip for a while, I'm not gonna lie. It's been a whip for a while and the reason why is, I don't know, smalls are just not my thing. Doing small cross stitches are just not my thing. Um, more is more in my case. Um, and I think I frogged a lot on this. I think I messed up a lot and I kept, I kept messing up and kept frogging. So I just put it away and never picked it up. I think it still needs to be frogged, honestly. I think there's still a mistake in here. But here's where I'm at on this, on which better have my candy. There's nothing here. <laughs> Barely, barely anything here. Um, but I figure the time is now to get these things done. And I was like, it's Halloween. Let me throw in a Halloween cross stitch that I have. So here we are with which better have my candy. So I'm hoping to finish this and do this by the end of the month as well. Um, this is tiny. This is only... 1,899 stitches. Um, it says that I have 397, but, but, like I said, I think I need to frog again at some point. I'm going to have to double check, but I might have to frog, so we'll see. But it says I'm at 20.91%. That's a lot. That's a lot of percentage for this amount of work right here. This is small. So, I'll be working on this uh, specifically on my cross stitch days for the month. I did make, again, I made a whole schedule this month um, so that I stayed organized because uh, there was a lot I wanted to do. Halloween's my favorite time of year. So if I can do all the Halloween things, I'm going to try. I'm going to try. So this will be my cross stitch project. Let's see if I can get it done and get some amount of progress during stream and then hopefully finishing it off of stream. So you will also hopefully see this as a finish at the end of the month, but I will keep you all updated, keep you all updated on that one. So this will lead me to the wheel spin. So let's do the wheel spin to see what project I'm going to have to pull out and do at least 500 stitches on till the next, um, the next update video. So I'm going to try and do it in a week. But if it takes me two weeks, then it takes me two weeks. Um, but let's see who we have. I have all my cross stitches on here. I'm trying not to get that big old glare. Um, but let's see what what's going to be the next project to work on. Oh, 
Oh, Halloween Mickey. Well, that's fated to be. <laughs> that is fated to be. So we're going to work on Halloween Mickey. I'm going to put about another 500 stitches on it, hopefully. But this is Halloween Mickey. And I believe I showed this in my last video where I was at and what kind of updates I did on it. Um, but here's where we're at. Let me... No, I should be able to keep it folded. Here it is. This is where it is. Last time I worked on this last month, I did all of this whole area here for the most part and filled that all in. So I'm not sure where I'm going to want to go. Um, I know down here it's going to be more confetti, basically. Uh, but I do have all my park threads ready to go for that. But I could also fill in over here. This is all color blocking with the moon and there's like light here. Um, so we'll see which direction I want to go in uh, and keep filling in. I did talk to my friend who this is for and he said there's still a spot on his wall waiting for it. And I said, well, I picked it back up and these videos will hopefully help me stay excited and motivated to continue to work on them. Um, so I said, I don't know, maybe we'll see, maybe give me another year and maybe I'll get it done. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Um, we're not leaving anytime soon and neither they are they. So there's plenty of time, but this is what I'm going to work on. This is the new project. So we'll update. I will update, uh, on the next video, how far I got with this one. Uh, so that is all my class stitch, uh, updates for now. Otherwise, anything else I want to talk about, I would say we're going to start with games. So I did end up playing um, Little Nightmares. I finished playing Little Nightmares, and I will say I absolutely loved it. I had so much fun. Of course, I played it on stream, so a lot of my community loves to scare me. I am very jumpy and easily scared, so it's it was as much as annoying to be scared so much, it was a lot of fun. The game itself had a really interesting story. There's a lot of theories from what I understand and some, some of my community shared the theories with me and it was really food for thought to like think like, I wonder if that's really what it meant. Um, but it was a creepy game, but the puzzles were really good. They were not overwhelming to where I felt dumb. Um, I was able to figure almost all of it out. I think I got help like once or twice, but for the most part, I was able to, fig I was able to figure out quite a bit of it. And, um, I had so much fun with it. I'm so excited to play the second one, but I probably won't start that until maybe November unless I get a little extra time um, throughout this month. But I made a whole schedule of um, what I'm going to play and what I'm going to craft for the month. So we'll see. We'll see if I have extra time. But most likely it'll be in November. There is a third one coming out, and that will be supposedly it was pushed back till next year, the beginning of next year. Um, so this is a perfect time to play them so that I'm caught up when the new one does come out. But I had a lot of fun with the first one. Uh, another game I played this week uh, that was a short one was Silt. And Silt is another little creepy puzzler type of game. The art style is very similar to like Tim Burton. Um, Hollow Knight, it's got that feel and that vibe. But it's like you're a diver and you go dive into the ocean to do puzzles and there's like sea creatures and creepy monsters down there and it was very calm and relaxing definitely a different pace than little nightmares even though it's kind of like i would kind of group them together um i enjoyed the puzzles there were some where i did get a little stumped on but again it's not anything that made me feel dumb it just i probably would have gotten it eventually but I didn't want to take too much time to like figure it out because it could take me a while sometimes to to finally see what the puzzle answer is. Uh, but I'm kind of, I would say I would play Silt before Little Nightmares. I think because I had just finished Little Nightmares and it was such a good game that Silt kind of felt a little flat from it. 
it wasn't as exciting and is that it wasn't as intense with the like suspensefulness it's more very it's a more very cozy game so highly recommend if you're just looking for something with a little darker art style and you just want to like relax though while you play I would say Silt is a good one so I did finish that uh, I put Baldur's Gate 3 on hold until November. We'll pick that back up at Act 3 in November for that. Um, and that's mostly all the gaming stuff that I've done. I think I picked up Love in Deep Space for like a minute or two here and there, but I haven't had a chance to really sit and play any more of it um, lately. So next game's coming up. Like, like I said, this month is all scary games. So I will be starting... Madison, which is a very, very scary game. That will be started on Wednesday, and I'm kind of very nervous about it, but I'm also kind of excited because I am stepping out of my comfort zone playing these scary games. I'm not usually a scary game type of person, um, but for the content, it's it's kind of worth it. The, the Everybody gets into it with me, and that's what makes it even more fun. And I have all those people there with me also, so I'm not alone, right? I'm not alone just playing in my room in the dark. Um, but Madison will be started. I also have, after Madison, I will be playing Mortuary Assistant. Uh, and I'll be wearing a costume for that one because that was a charity incentive that I did uh, for Dollar Four back in May. That was a goal hit. So I will be doing Mortuary Assistant with the costume. Um, so I got some really creepy games coming up. <laughs> got some really creepy games coming up. And there will be a few more, but I'm sure I'll update before then and let you know what those are coming on. Um, or what what's coming on next after those. Uh, so that's all in the games department right now. And then moving on to books. I am still reading Claimed by Lucifer. But on my trip... I did read a lot on the plane, so instead of crafting, I actually decided to read. So I read about 200 and something pages uh, into the book, and it got really good, and now it's kind of fizzling out again. I said, like I said, it's not the most amazing book ever, but it's it's fine. It's okay. It's, it's, it's readable, and I don't mind it. Um, I'm still trying to get through it, though, and... I realized that the book is the full series that I'm reading on Kindle. Um, so there's four books in one Kindle book, basically. But I noticed when I looked at the chapters, the last book is a different book with different characters. I know who the characters are now, but um, I don't know if I'll read it. I don't know if I'll read it. I don't know if I'm inter interested enough to read that one. So I have one more book basically to read before I'm done with that whole series, hopefully. I think. I think. I'm at like halfway through, so yeah, I probably have one more book to get through. If if I decide to read it, I don't know. I'll see how this second one ends. If it feels like it's just going to be redundant, I might just DNF it. Um, or not read the last book, I guess you could say. Uh, but I'm trying to finish at least the one I'm on. I'm almost, I'm almost done with the second book basically. So I'm still reading that. And then I got my last and final book in my all-time favorite series, uh, the Plated Prisoner series. The book finally came in, the physical copy! So I have the full series all together, but this is the last one that just came out uh, on the 24th of September. The really cool part is this, these, the last two, um, what was the other one? Gold. Gold and Goldfinch both have gold sprayed edges, uh, which I wasn't expecting because the other ones just have white edges, like normal edges. Um, but I'm wondering if it's just because of the names, maybe, and part of the story. Like I said, I haven't read the last one or this one yet, so I have no idea how the story ends or how it's going. Uh, I'm going to binge read the whole series and then get into the new ones so I have everything fresh in my mind. Um, but yeah, it did come in. So there's the there's the, um, the book cover. It's really pretty. And then inside also has art on the inside. It's like the cage and the bird leaving the cage. Hopefully you can see that. 
And then here's the front cover. Look how beautiful. What a gorgeous book. And then there's the back. Super pretty book. Um, so I'll probably be reading this at be reading this very soon. Of course the whoops. <laughs> of course the bonded by bonded by thorns. Did I say blood last time? Bonded by Thorns um, also has their their latest book out. So I do want to read that one too. So maybe I'll read that one first just because I'll be done with that series. And then I'll get into this one because I'm sure I'll have a book hangover because I really like that series. Um, but yes, this came in. So that's another um, book, noteworthy book thing. And I don't know if this would count as a book book, but I'm going to place it here because it's book form. But I've had so much on my plate lately, and I'm trying a lot of new things, and I'm branching out here on YouTube again, and I'm doing TikToks. And with my streaming schedule in October, I was like, I need to get my life organized. So I decided to finally pick up another Happy Planner. I used to get these every year and decorate once upon a time. I'm sure I have them on a video somewhere, um, but I stopped using them. I stopped using them, so it was a waste of money. So I stopped buying these for a few years, but now is the time where I need to, I need to get <laughs> I need to get organized. So I went to Michaels, and they had these ones, the 18 months, which is what I needed because um, it, it starts in July and goes all the way through 2025. So I won't need another one until 2026. And this was on sale. It said only 40% off. But when I checked out at the register, normally this is like $25 or a little more, $25 to $30. I got this for $4. <laughs> I got this for four dollars. I was very, very shocked. Am I am I blanking out my voice on the microphone? I got this for four dollars. I was super shocked. I was super shocked. Anyways, so I picked up the Happy Planner. This is totally me with the freaking universe stars and all that. Um, it's really cute. But I got the bigger one. This is the 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 bigger size. There's usually a smaller. A smaller size one that was the normal one I got but I needed the bigger boxes I really wanted the bigger boxes and it has the um, it has the horizontal horizontal notes um, or daily horizontal uh, you know what I mean <laughs> it has the horizontal instead of the vertical normally they're vertical but it does come with um, the overview of the month. If you've never seen a happy planner, this is what's in them. It comes with the complete monthly overview, room for notes. Um, the back, I believe, has room for notes as well. And the front has like a yearly, yearly overlook there. I am making such a mess with this. <laughs> Uh, it also has the yearly look, yeah, all, all the way through 2025, and then it has um, where you can write. I feel like this is a good birthday chart where you can write the day whose birthday is on what day. The only thing is if you have a bunch of people on one day, that might be kind of annoying because these are only like room enough for one space. Um, but I, I'm pretty sure it's for birthdays. So I, I got a new happy planner, and honestly, it's been helping a lot. I got my whole monthly view. And every day I'm like writing out what videos to work on, where I need to edit, all this kind of stuff. So this is going to come in super, super, super freaking handy for me. I needed it. I needed it. <laughs> but it's kind of fun. It's kind of fun. Again, another tool just to help keep me organized and motivated. Um, but that's it. That's all I have right now. Like I said, there was a lot going on. IRL with TwitchCon and then with the husband being home now. Um, and him wanting to do a lot. It's, it's been busy. It's been busy. I got a lot of stuff still coming up. I have a charity event that I'm participating in with my friend, look at all that juice over on Twitch. 
Um, I will leave his information down below if you'd like to check it out. But he is raising money for ovarian cancer. It is his third year. I participated last year. Um, he actually is the one who said and asked if I would do tarot for donations. And I said yes. So that's when I learned tarot. <laughs> I was reading for maybe two months to practice. And then uh, we did his charity event and it went really well. So this year again, I will be doing more readings for donations on October 13th. It is on October 11th and 13th this, 13th this year. Um, he's doing a wrestling competition. He's also doing, uh, he's learning crafts. He's going to be knitting for the first time ever with some of my other friends who will be teaching him. Uh, he'll be doing some games with some of his uh He's on a stream team, and so he'll be playing with some of the members on his stream team. So that's what I'm going to be doing next weekend. So I'll probably be doing a lot of crafts while I watch um, as I am a moderator for his channel. So I want to make sure I'm there keeping tabs on everything. So that'll be a big craft weekend for me, hopefully. Um, so I might not record next weekend. I might wait two weeks just to make sure I get enough progress in and I get a lot of... Um, focus so I'm not stressed about editing and everything like that um so that will be coming up and again just more more crafting costumes I'll be working on so I'll be updating that next next time as well but thank you so much for watching I hope everyone's having a wonderful October so far I hope everyone's getting in those costume ideas because if you're going to dress up for Halloween um it's definitely approaching very quickly but of course, that is if you do celebrate. If you don't, I hope you're enjoying all of the festivities from afar and um, seeing all the, the really cool costumes and things that people come up with as well as all the spoopy crafts and things and decor and all that going on. But thank you again. Uh, hopefully, I will see you all in my next video. But I appreciate it. Bye!